Okay, welcome back. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch these screencasts on how to use our web-based time clock. Um, in this webcast, I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, set your time and just kind of we'll just kind of navigate through some of the different elements so to familiarize yourself with uh, what's available for you and what you can and can't do. All right. So the first thing we'll do is we'll log in as administrator. We'll just take some time to kind of look through the, the various options that we have. We have a time off report that you can run. You have your time cards. Well, I'll start at the top. We have your time cards. And uh, when your payday is, comes, you will go to time cards and you will set all of the various options about your time cards, how you want it to work, calculate your overtime, um, which employees, which departments you want to have in, in the system and you can generate your time cards there. Uh, as we go down the line, the next thing we have is our time off report and this will query all of the records for your employees uh, for a specified date range and tell you how much time they've taken off for vacation, sick time, things like that. Uh, to, to learn how to uh, put in vacation and sick time, you can just refer to the uh, Adjust Hours screencast and it show, will show you how to add those times to employees. Uh, you have your employee manager here, which will allow you to quickly uh, look at your employees, view their time cards, adjust their hours, uh, add new employees, uh, things like that. Uh, pay periods, um, that's where you set up the, the pay periods and you can have it automatically calculate your pay periods or you can uh, manually put in your different pay periods uh, which may be useful if your pay periods uh, aren't uh, structured in a way that uh, can be easily uh, broken down into a computer. Um, <clears throat> and then you have your preferences. We'll go ahead and look at your preferences. Uh, right here you have the set time. Let's look at that. And uh, right now the time is uh, 840. Yeah, but I'm on the East Coast. And uh, right now where I'm at it's, it's 1140. So I'm going to just change this to 11. and hit set and I'm going to check use daylight saving time and I'm going to set that okay and so now the correct time is displayed it's 1141 and I also checked daylight saving time I can look at general settings and uh, you have things like allow employees to punch through midnight um, by default, this is not checked. Uh, there may be um, situations where you have employees working through midnight. You'd want to come in and check that. Um, we've allowed employees to delete punch records less than three days old. Um, punch data can be, uh, this is about the only modifications that are ever allowed to the punch data. And it's just a deletion, but you uh, are not ever going to be able to change information to correct erroneous information you would use the adjust hours uh, uh, the use departments one is one that you need to set right away if you're going to if you plan on using departments because the department becomes part of the unique thing that identifies an employee and their punch data and so um, if you plan on using departments, I highly recommend you turn that on right away. Uh, the show employee status will, uh, let me check that and I'll show you what that one looks like. I'm going to exit out here. Um, actually, let me go back here. Um, show employee status is checked here and I can include the time with the status and I can include detailed time with the status. Um, I'm going to uh, include detailed time with status and I'm going to hit exit and I'm going to show you what that does. And so it will show you a list of all of your employees and their status. So now uh, ben, I can see quickly by looking at the front screen that Ben Smith is punched out and he punched out at 8 o'clock. Okay.
Okay. So let's go back to the preferences there and take a look at that again. Um, I'm going to opt to not show employee status. And so those are your general settings. Uh, security we've covered in, in another webcast. Um, actually, we covered cookie security and IP security. Uh, the use trusted passwords is a uh, in in beta right now, uh, as at the time of this video being recorded. But it should be out of beta by the time uh, really soon. So it, 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 for all effective, uh, it's not in beta. Uh, especially if you're watching this video sometime after uh, it being recorded. Um, we will do another screencast on what trusted passwords are and how they can benefit you and your company. Um, and you can see, so you can look, look for that coming. <clears throat> uh, login style we've covered in, another, in our security uh, screencast. And uh, so those are your uh, your preferences. Let's look at account details. You have account information, and this is just your demographics, your company name, your administrative email, contact name, uh, phone number, different things that we will use uh, if we uh, need to get a hold of you or, or send you an email or give you a phone call. We will look at this information to do that. Uh, we don't we don't send it to any other. Uh, third parties. Um, so that's the account information. You can change your administrative password here. Uh, hopefully that's explanatory. You can uh, look at your billing information and it'll tell you exactly what your fees, what you can expect on your next bill. And you can look at previous bills there as well. Uh, you can put a company logo on. As you can see we've already done here. There's the link builder, which we cover in another webcast. And there's the daily backup API. And uh, what this does is it creates a link that you can go to on a daily basis and you can uh, manually back up any of the data. Um, some of our customers have requested this. They, they, uh, we, we back up daily here, but uh, um, this gives you sort of an, an extra layer of, uh, of backup and you can go and, and grab that data on a daily basis. Uh, and so that's what that's for. And uh, that pretty much uh, is all of the uh, different things in a very quick uh, flyover. And, uh, Check out some of our other screencasts where we cover in detail a lot of these features. Thanks.